beautiful people and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Floki. if you're here for the first time and today i want to share with you the best career advice i have ever received so if you're into this kind of content stick around and let's get right into it <music> fossil when it comes to <laughs> matters career but i believe i know one or two things this can apply to um people across the spectrum so whether you're early in your career you're at the midpoint or even at the tail end of your career when i finished uni and was thinking of getting into the workforce i recall my mentor calling me one day and telling me flo i know you're in transition and i have just one piece of advice for you as you get into the workforce do not allow your work to define you and he said you are made up of so many components and work or career is just one of them this became a stark reality because i remember at some point i I really allowed my work to define me. I am so many things besides my career, but oftentimes we find ourselves allowing our career. You know, if someone asks you, who are you? You know, you say, um, Floki, uh, I'm a teacher. And that is it. And yet there are so many facets to the person you are. There are so many aspects to who you are. So. It's advice that I have taken with me and something that I apply every day in my life to not allow my career to be the full definition of who Fluki is, yeah? Learn to shut down and go home. Do not allow yourself to become a workaholic, you know? When it's the end of the day, learn to shut down and go home. When it's the end of a good day of a week shut down and have a weekend working constantly does not make you a good employee you know you're meant to work certain hours recharge just like anything you cannot be a hamster in a cage so learn to shut down and go home go and be with your family go and be with your friends go and be with yourself <laughs> you know just learn to shut down i have personally learned to you know draw a boundary uh between work and home and i do my best to not bring work home unless i really really have to i was talking to my friend not too long ago and we were like you know we work for companies and we have strategies of how we want to run companies but we do not have strategies of how we want to you know run our lives and i think the same applies to your career you need to have a strategy of how you want your career to turn out you know what do you want to be what is your vision where do you want to be and at what time you know within which timelines what is your strategy to getting there what is your definition of success yeah so have a vision statement and devise a strategy to get you there careers don't just spring up on you and i mean there are instances where you know something springs up on you and it ends up becoming a career but for most of us we have to chart our own path so do not allow another person to push you or to define who you are and what you are or what you can or what you cannot do you are the ceo of your own life so take that driver's seat write a vision statement and start you know driving and strategizing towards getting where you want to be in your career They say no is a complete sentence. So do not be afraid to say no. Yeah. Um, people's pleasers often find themselves in situations where, you know, you become a yes man at work. You to ask to do this, it's yes, 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 yes. And what that means is, what that often leads to rather is burnout because you're not able to say no. You're not able to say, you know what, I'm at my threshold i cannot take anymore so learn to say no if you don't understand things ask 
yeah in the workplace if you're not familiar if you're not conversant none of us are know-it-all none of us were born knowing these things and for most people if people are actually honest most people learn a lot of things on the job so whenever you come across things that are you know unfamiliar territory learn to ask you know Do not be afraid to bust a lateral move. Now, this is what I mean. I had this from Car Caroline Motoko a long time ago. And he, she was speaking about when you no longer have headspace for growth where you are, do not be afraid to move laterally or externally so that you have room for growth. A lot of us define growth as, you know, moving up the ladder. But oftentimes you get to a point where there is no more room for growth. So do not be afraid at that point to bust a lateral move, to, you know, explore, to explore other options and see if you can pivot and have room for growth in whatever else is there. To toot your own horn, market yourself, talk about the work that you do. A lot of people are out here doing excellent work, but nobody knows, nobody gets to hear about it. And you are the best ambassador of the work that you do. I learned this from my friend Musanda, who likes to say, Do not be afraid to toot your own horn, do not be afraid to talk about yourself, to talk about the awesome work that you're doing and let people know about it. So do not be afraid in your career, whatever it is that you're doing, if you're a scientist, if you're a teacher, toot your own horn, be proud of the work that you do and share it, put it out there for the world. Apply the spirit of excellence in whatever you do. Now let's face it, a lot of us begin our careers not necessarily in places where we want to be i'll give an example when i started off my career i was working at a school front office and um i remember how oh, it was it really was not my dream job for me i was just like is this is this, is this it is this work you know but it was a great opportunity for me to learn a lot about myself. Now, what I did there was apply the spirit of excellence. I used to show up to work. I used to dress up for the job. I used to, I immersed myself and I did, I applied excellence in all areas of my work. In fact, the principal was just like, wow. Instead of sulking and being like, oh, this is not the job of my dreams. This is not where I wanted to be. I immersed myself into the work. You know, I got into learning and understanding what, you know, front office of a school looks like. Um, I took a couple of blows from parents here and there. <laughs> and... I applied the spirit of excellence, you know, regardless. Um, the fact that it wasn't my dream job that did not mean that I showed up to work with, you know, slouchy shoulders and unhappy. And, you know, I showed up, I showed out and I did my best in that role. So on your way to your dream job, whatever jobs you have, be excellent, you know, apply excellence. Most of those jobs serve as training ground for your next role. So don't take that for granted. Never stop learning. You know, every opportunity you have, if you have the time and you have the resources, keep building yourself. Upskill, go for trainings, go back to school. Do not stop learning learn so that you can grow gain new skills that you know are relevant to the work that you do so that you can grow and you can become an asset you know in the organization that you work for so do not stop learning do not stop growing do not stop um, having that desire to know more so that you can do more ever 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 give up on your dreams now in this career world yeah you will meet roadblocks but i just want to tell you to be persistent to keep believing and be tenacious the world belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams that dream that you have do not give up on it be tenacious keep pushing keep knocking doors you know be persistent and chase your dream like your life depends on it 
build strong relationships at work network with people in your circle network with people who do the same work or you know the work that you would want to do so this applies to mentorship applies to friendships and other relationships in the workplace make sure you have a great support system within and outside your organization have strong um, networks because where networks are everything in this day and age hmm, networks mean the world get mentors and i believe mentoring is a very symbiotic relationship a lot of people think it's one way it's a one-way traffic but mentorship is a very symbiotic relationship yeah so as you take as you learn you you also have something that you're giving to the person who's mentoring you and let me tell you guys most of my adult friendships have been from the workplace i know there's this notion of oh separate work from home but guys we spend a lot of time at work if i have the opportunity to have a friend or two from the workplace i will i do not have that you know tough line of no 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 cannot have friends at work no new friends <laughs> most of my adult friendships have actually been from the places that i have worked learn to take feedback yeah um a lot of us in our careers are you know learning and we are growing uh, from one level to another and on the path there are mistakes that we make there are things we could have done better so learn to take feedback positively do not be too critical on yourself especially when you fail yeah do not beat yourself up too much i i i, I personally used to do that a lot and i would beat myself over I'd be like how how did i miss this how did i miss this you know <laughs> but as, as as i've grown in my career i've learned to take feedback positively and to also know how to separate feedback from the person giving the feedback sometimes the feedback comes from you know someone and there's a way they deliver it that may be ish ish so learn to just separate the two and take feedback and work on yourself similarly have moments where you self-reflect you know and you critique yourself with love with love because i know there's a thin line i as i've said i used to critique myself to death you know <laughs> so critique yourself reflect on what you're doing and what you could do better and and do better you know when you know better you do better on this journey there are moments when you will fail you will fail to hit the mark you will fail to hit the target you will fail to show up as your best self yeah but do not be afraid of it instead use failure as a launching pad for your next best big thing you know um like anything in life people make mistakes in their career and it's not the end of the world yeah so learn to pick yourself up don't stay on the ground too long pick yourself up piece yourself together and get on with it get on with it do not allow failure to define you and do not allow failure to limit you mind your business learn to mind your business guys um moshene in the workplace ah! <laughs> do not be a person for machine in the workplace learn to mind your business minding your business will save you a lot of time and a lot of energy do not go poking your nose you know in places where it doesn't belong just do your work focus on your work and get work done mind your business is the real machine moving from one person to another knowing mm, 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 mm. don't do that don't do that it's very it's very ill in the workplace 2023 yuck <laughs> finally let me end by saying always be yourself do not try to be somebody else do not try to put up you know a facade do not try to camouflage or to you know make yourself little just show up as yourself whenever you do that you deny yourself and the world the opportunity to see yeah you for the person that you are to experience you for the person that you are so do not do not do not i repeat 
do not do that to your to yourself it's 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 shortchanging yourself yeah so show up and be yourself be authentic all day every day so guys this marks the end of my video today if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share it with people that you love please do share in the comments below any other career advice that you may have and do not forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so that you get to know whenever i post content i will see you on the next episode of fridays with fluky bye